usually spend most of my time out on the water working for boat advice, but when the team from Car Advice threw me the keys to the long-term Land Rover Discovery, I thought what a perfect opportunity to head down to the Snowy Mountains, visit Lake Krakenback Resort and Spa, and catch up with local fly fishing guide, Matt Trippett. While many are eagerly anticipating the arrival of the fifth generation Land Rover Discovery, I must admit to having a little bit of a soft spot for this particular model. It has rugged off-road capabilities and a large imposing stature on the road. In anticipation of the new model arriving, expect to see prices dropping on this, the fourth generation of the Land Rover Discovery. The fifth generation Land Rover Discovery looks more refined and luxurious, and to me definitely more Range Rover than rugged Land Rover. The fourth generation Discoveries are the last in the big bold vehicles in the Land Rover stable as they move to the new styling. Behind the wheel you have an expansive view of the surrounding terrain, whether that be on the highway or off road. The high position ensures that you can keep tabs on all of the surrounding obstacles and make sure that they don't sneak up on you. The all round performance of this vehicle is exemplary, it's little wonder it's been a So we stayed overnight at the resort and we've woken to a new day and it's a lot different than it was yesterday. There's actually been snow falling this morning and it's very, very cold. We've come back to the lake, hoping to catch a few bigger trout than we saw yesterday. And I'm very keen to cast a line, so let's get into it.
another little rainbow, it looks like. They're very energetic at the moment. They're lively, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, come on. There yeah. we go. Well done, good job. Once again, similar age to the other fish which we've been catching. It's a bit of a colder day today. We've got a bit of snow falling on us. But another really healthy rainbow trout that's probably about two years old. You've caught him on a little damsel nymph stripping across uh, the weed beds that we've got here in this little alpine lake and uh, he smashed that for dinner. What a beautiful fish. He's Good stunning, job. Isn't he? Well done. Beautiful. Drove is set up perfectly for forward driving. There's an array of switches down here in the center panel that you can use to either raise or lower the vehicle. So if you've got very rough terrain where you want to keep the underbody away from it, you can lift the vehicle so it's not going to bottom out when you go over rocks and such. You've also got different modes. At the moment we've used the snow and gravel mode the most because we've been driving a lot through obviously snow, mud and gravel. There's also a sand mode and also a rock crawl. So if it's really rough, it'll help you control the vehicle over that sort of terrain. And finally, you've also got a high and a low gear. Where we've been forward driving today, we've used the low gear because that engages the engine compression braking. And it's much safer to be using that than being trying to tap on your brake as you go down a muddy and very slippery hill. If you lock your brakes up, you'll find yourself sliding out of control best thing to do there is to get off the brake and use the compression braking of the engine. It will control the car much more effectively. It's been a fabulous few days down here at the Snowies. We've gone four wheel driving, managed to go fishing and luckily enough caught some trout as well. During the course of this trip I've definitely reaffirmed my love for this vehicle. It's perfect for getaways where outdoor activities are high on the list of things to do. and turn your hand the other way so that you can oh. see. Or just like that, that's perfect. <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs>